my name is Roseanne Olunga and I'm from New Zealand. I didn't really know what engineering was but yeah I found out what it was and thought it was really interesting solving problems um, using maths and science and so yeah here I am as an infrastructure advisor in Solomon Islands working on engineering projects. was that it was an island <laughs> and it seemed similar to Samoa and Tonga and I knew it was a developing country so yeah I just knew they needed help so yeah what was different though was evidence of betel nut <laughs> everywhere <laughs> that was definitely a little bit of a shock <laughs> but yeah it wasn't too bad once I found out what it was I was like oh okay that's not blood <laughs> Everyone come with different sets of skills, so um, I've learned different things from different volunteers. And for Rosanne, we usually communicate since we are in our um, project planning stage. In Solomon Islands, we have 1,300 schools scattered through the provinces throughout Solomon Islands. So, some schools are situated really in the highlands. It's really satisfying and really rewarding because I remember walking into the first completed science classroom and just seeing all the gas valves and all the sinks in place and it just took me back to my science days because it looked a lot similar to my own science classroom back home, back in New Zealand. And so, yeah, it's really, really satisfying to know that students will be using this for science purposes and their old science classroom, you know, it's now being upgraded and they can do better things in this new science classroom. I think this is something that uh, we are proud of. Uh, we are part of the the country building, uh, developing the country for the future. So they will be creating an environment where yeah, future, future leaders of the Solomon Islands will have the opportunity to, to learn and become yeah, leaders in the future. So it's something that they are, we are proud of and we are proud to be part of the, the whole nation building as well. When I was um, you know, still deciding what I wanted to do during high school, I did have um, older female mentors who inspired me. So I'm hoping that maybe as I'm working on these different projects and I come across different school children in the different communities, that they can see women can do engineering and it can take you places as well. There's a lot of projects that need to be done, a lot of tasks that need to be done. And so, you know, one of the frustrations is actually trying to get work moving along efficiently and at a good pace. Also, I've come across Solomon time, so that's an interesting concept, but I've also heard of island time as well, so it's a bit similar. <laughs> and so that's something that I've had to learn and just kind of go with the flow and things will happen. Things will happen, but in their own time. <laughs> yeah. I've only been here for six weeks, but I was lucky enough to go to Western Province in my second week. And that was a really good experience. Um, went on a banana boat for the first time. And that, yeah, the first boat ride, which was an hour, was really, really nice. And then our last boat ride from Dekarana to Noro, which took two hours, was a bit of a frightening experience, but it was because the wind was very, very strong and the waves were just very choppy, so the boat was just going up and down. Yeah, big ups to all the people who travel by banana boats every day. Yeah, it's a bit scary, but it's it's really enjoyable too. <laughs>
Yeah, I think the, the relationship we've built, I think, makes us to uh, feel that we are no longer an isolated. You know, we are connected uh, to some uh, other people outside of the world and really admire the program. It helps us to create a network of people that we can work with. We have a close connection and I will be very much pleased to see them in five years time with their family or friends in the country. Hearing about how my parents grew up and the struggles they've gone through and for them to come to New Zealand to give you know, me and my brothers a better life. I guess that's what motivates me to work hard at school, get the degree that I have in engineering and then to come back to a place like Solomon Islands or any other Pacific Island to come back and work on projects that would benefit the community here. I knew that these opportunities, they don't come by often. So yeah, there was that opportunity and my mindset was just to take it. Even though I didn't know too much about it, um, just say yes and then come along and find out how it really is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>